fellow vintage lovers. I just wanted to make a short haul video for you today. I actually went to the Goodwill bins for the very first time. I went on Saturday morning in Oklahoma City per a suggestion from my friend Martha at Vintage Conversation. She drives up to the Oklahoma bins um, and really enjoys going there as opposed to going to Houston, Dallas, uh, I believe even Austin. So I, I actually did film a video outside when I left the bins and a short video after that showing the items that I had um, in my bags. But unfortunately, I accidentally deleted those videos yesterday when I was recording a concert that my niece was in. So I have laid everything out here on this table just to show you what I got. Again, this is my first time to the bins, so I was not sure what to expect. I spent a total of $19.37. Unfortunately, it was very windy the entire weekend. And my itemized receipt blew out of one of my tote bags. So I don't have an exact breakdown for you. I really wanted one for myself since it was my first time. And I was a little bit confused about the pricing. But I also wanted to be able to show you. So I apologize for that. There are three items that were specifically priced that were not weighed. And the first one is this really pretty vintage purse. It does have a vintage tag on the inside. Let me see if I can get it to you. Or get it to show you, I should say. Um, here it is. Um, it's made by Bonnie International. And this purse is actually in great shape structurally. All the beads are intact, but it does have some little spots that I need to work on. I think this purse was worth it, however, and I think I can get this clean. It may take me a while, but I am actually very, very excited about this. When I first left the bins, I have to admit I was a little defeated. I had woken up late. My alarm didn't go off. And I had planned on getting there at 8 a.m. when the bins opened. However, I didn't make it there till about 9 or 9.15. So I think that everything had pretty much been gone through by the time I got there. There were people lined up inside against the wall. Some people had carts, some people didn't, some people just had stacks of items. I was in there for over an hour before I was able to get a shopping cart myself, and I was there for maybe an hour and a half total. I had fun. I had my crossbody purse, which was necessary, of course, my mask, but I had forgotten the gloves that I bought last week to bring to the bins. So I had to be a little careful when I was digging. Luckily, I didn't cut myself or hurt my hand or anything like that. However, I did touch some things that I really didn't want to touch, like bras, underwear, something sticky in one of the bins. I don't know what it was, but as soon as I found it, I did go ahead and stop digging through that bin. As soon as I got to the car, I, of course, sanitized my hands and my arms. And as soon as I got back to my brother's house, I did take a shower because I felt very, very dirty. Um, like I said, the purse is in good shape. It just needs a little bit of cleaning, so I'm happy with that purchase. I also picked up these two chalkware pieces. And to me, these look like a very regal French couple. He's very dandy looking. They're in good shape structurally as well. However, both of them have a few chips here and there. And I have a question for you guys. I'm thinking about maybe touching them up. I do have some paint here. I have paint brushes. I, I painted a little bit recently. So I was thinking about maybe trying to repair these myself. Uh, there is still some dirt on them that needs to be cleaned up. There's actually dirt on everything, so I apologize if you see it. Uh, as soon as I got back from Oklahoma, I wanted to empty the car. I had everything from the bins 
plus some items I'd received, or I'm sorry, that I picked up at antique malls and one antique shop. So I kind of had to get the car clean so my mom could go, but I figured I would start with my bin haul just to give you an idea. You know, I was very excited to finally go, but like I said, it, um, it was a little bit crazy. I was very tired. I, like, like I said, I overslept. I didn't stop to get coffee. So that was probably my fault. I think I would have had more patience and more luck maybe if I had waited for the second round of bins to come. They're actually pulling those out as I was checking out. And people started rushing and pushing, so at that point I was just done, I have to admit. Okay, I also picked up this afghan. It's in excellent shape. I didn't see any damage to it. It actually looks very clean. I believe it's a baby blanket. I could be wrong. It could also be of the largest largest throw but I just thought these colors were pretty they're perfect for Easter which I know we don't have for another year or so but I went ahead and picked it up anyway just because of the the prettiness of it okay I also got this elephant he is a resin piece he's in great shape he survived the bins pretty well there is a little scratch right here on his back leg but other than that, he is in great shape. I'm very glad I rescued him. He will definitely make someone happy. I also picked up this craft piece. This is a really well done craft piece. I was very pleased to get him. He is, as you can see, a rabbit pulling a wheelbarrow. I believe he's probably a planter or used as some sort of Easter decoration, like a container for eggs or something like that. But I think he, he could be used year-round if you, if you really like him, like I do. His face is just really well done. Kudos to the person who made him. Okay, guys, I also picked up four more 8-tracks. I picked up some a few weeks ago, and I do know that some 8-tracks are collectible. I got a couple of Dolly Parton. Look at that graphic, guys. Ugh. Who doesn't love Dolly? And there she is again. I also picked up the Mamas and the Papas Greatest Hits. These are all in great shape. There is no damage to the actual eight tracks themselves. The, the labeling just have some has some issues. Uh, this is Jim Croce again in great shape. And I picked up this Duke Ellington vinyl. It is in excellent shape. The actual vinyl. There is some wear on the cover, but when I looked at it it looked brand new so I don't know what happened maybe someone received Duke Ellington Indigos as a gift and they didn't want it or their record player broke before they could play it or maybe they just took really really good care of it which is what I hope happened but it's in great shape and I was very surprised to find that in the bins Okay, I also picked up this. This, I don't even know if it's vintage. Excuse me, I'm really tired after this trip. Um, this is a UT hat, and I just thought it was funny to find this in the bins. Um, I went to UT, my brother went to OU, and if you know anything about college football, you know about the rivalry, rivalry between OU, the Sooners, and the Longhorns. <laughs> Um, this hat's actually in really good shape. I'm not sure if I will keep it for myself. Uh, I do like to run, and I always can use a new hat for that, so I may keep it for me. I just don't know yet. I just had to get it, though. It was like a sign. <laughs> and it was fun to taunt my brother with, that's for sure. Okay, I also picked up a lot of books. Now, their books were priced individually. They were priced, I shouldn't say that, hardcover books were a certain price and paperbacks were a certain price. And unfortunately, I don't remember, I guess I could maybe look it up and add it to this video. I don't remember the exact prices, but I do believe the books total were for about, for about $8. And the purse was also priced individually. I don't know if it was like $4 or $5. I can't remember and I so wish that receipt hadn't blown away. But these books are all vintage. They're all from the 50s through the 70s. 
and they're all in pretty good shape. I, I don't want to bore you too much, but this Benny the Beaver book is so pretty. The illustrations in this book are amazing, and it's in really, really good shape. And it would be perfect for junk journaling or, you know, if you collect children's books, I think this would be a great addition to your collection. That was from 1964. Okay, I also got this one, Sam and the Firefly. Of course, a book about an owl I'm going to pick up. I just love the graphics in this book. This one is from 1958, and it also has some amazing illustrations. You know, it would be great for junk journaling, too, if you didn't want to keep it intact. Of course, I probably would keep it intact because I'm a big owl person, but... If you wanted to use it for junk journaling, I think that would be awesome too. Okay, and I also picked up this one. This is from the 70s. I don't remember the exact year. Let me see. Uh, it's a fantasy book, Eleanor and the Golden Ball. It's from 1973. It also has amazing artwork in it. It has almost an Art Nouveau style to it, I think. I just love the illustrations in here. Speaking of the house, look at that guy. I would love to read this story, too. I think I will before I offer it in a live sale. I would just like to, to read this. I think it looks very interesting. Look at that graphic. Very cool. Okay. I also got this book. This is the book that's probably in the worst shape, but it's really only the cover. And it, it's still intact. It just has a lot of wear to it. The art in here is so precious. I love it. And obviously there was a child that loved it too. It looks like family colored on these two pages though. Um, this is just so stinking cute. One more page. There you go. She's looking out the window for the bears. I also got this. This is from the 60s and I thought the graphics in this were so cool. I mean, look at this goat. I know an old lady. I feel like I should know this story, but I don't. I just love the graphics in here. Very mid-century. Very cool. Okay. I also got, don't fall on me, Duke, um, this Walt Disney book, Animals and Their Babies. And this just tells, um, you know, teaches children about different animals and in particular animals that are in the Jungle Book Disney film. I'm not going to bore you too much, but it does have some great artwork in here. If you're a Disney fan, this would be great. If you love animals like me, it would be great. If you want a junk journal, I mean, these books are all so cool. Let me know if you think that I should sell them as a lot or if you would be interested in buying them individually. I'm not damaging the chalkboard, I promise. It's already damaged anyway, but I'm being gentle. It's just the books are hitting it. Uh, this book is about an elephant. Look at him. Look, look at the ox. <laughs> oh my. This book is so cute. This book is from the 70s, and I love it. Okay. Then I got this little book. Oh, we'll, we'll go with Peppermint next. This book cover is so cute. I won't bore you with too much of it, but it's a story about kittens that were for sale and nobody wanted poor Peppermint, this white kitty. Um, he ends up, of course, being loved very much by the child that gets him, but look at how sad he is in this picture. Oh my gosh. Just so, so cute. I also got this book. Um, it is about... What is home and what home means kind of explains to children like the importance of family and and what goes on in your home. Um, again, the illustrations are are great. Another book that would be perfect for junk journaling if you wanted to use it for that. I mean, look at that. It's just so sweet. Okay, before I get on to the last few children's books, I did pick this up. This is Life magazine as you can see and this came out 25 years after John Lennon passed so this came out in 2005 and it's just full of amazing photos oh my gosh um if you've seen my prior videos you probably have seen that I love John Lennon I do collect a lot of Beatles memorabilia 
and I certainly was not going to pass this up. This is just so cool. This is my favorite picture of John Lennon ever. Look at him with that sign. It's kind of so cute. Okay, on because if you don't like John Lennon, I'm probably boring you, and I'm sorry. Okay, the last three children's books I got were this one, Tim and His Train. I believe this is from the 50s. It has great, great graphics in it as well. I just love it. Look at that. Very cool. In very good shape considering its age. And the last two that I got were my bird book. Which Okay, so I think these pictures would actually be the best for journaling. Look at this kingfisher. I mean, just the graphics are so cool. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and the colors. Just all of it. Well, apparently, I can't flip through a book and hold my phone at the same time. <laughs> Oklahoma wore me out, guys. Look at the parrot, McCall. Toucan. That's a toucan. Gosh, I need help. I need sleep. I had a hard time sleeping this weekend as well, and I was running myself ragged. It was all good. It was all fun, but I'm just, I just came back a little tired. Okay, so this is a book a a Native American book, and it was actually illustrated by um, a Native American. And I do tend to find a lot of these things in Oklahoma, much more so than Texas. And I'm looking forward to reading this book myself. I love Native American art and history and folklore, so I definitely have to read this. Look how sweet that picture is. Okay, everyone, I tried to make a short video for you. I will. I tried hard, I promise. I know I talk too much when it comes to books. But I will be posting a, a longer haul video tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what my experience was at the bins. And I do wish I had not deleted the other two videos. I will get better at this, I promise. And... Hopefully, I will go to the the bins again soon with either a friend or my husband or someone to help me because it is actually very hard on my neck and my back, especially when there aren't any shopping carts available and you're weighing yourself down with things like books and heavy chalkware. Okay, guys, if you can, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment. I really do appreciate it. I, I'll say this every time, but your support does mean everything to me. And if you can continue to like and follow and share, that really does help me. Uh, the comments help a lot as well. And as usual, if there's something you're interested in that you see in this video, definitely reach out to me. CalypsoAntiques at gmail.com. You can also DM me on Instagram, Calypso underscore antiques. That will also be available at the end of this video. So thanks, guys. I hope everyone had an amazing Mother's Day. I had a great weekend with my mother, and I hope everyone did too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you. Bye-bye.